we're going on a road trip from Boston to New York City in our 2021 Tesla Model Y. Hey guys, I'm JQ Louise. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking our Tesla Model Y from Boston to New York City on a road trip. But before we get started, be sure to like this video and subscribe. We own a 2021 Tesla Model Y and we're sharing our entire Tesla ownership experience everything from delivery day to installing accessories and going on road trips. So definitely check out our links below. But for now, let's get started. Okay, so we're leaving Boston. It's a Saturday morning and we're heading down to New York City for the weekend. It's about 210 miles away. We're going to have to supercharge a little bit on the way there, but then we should be good to go for the whole weekend in New York. And then on the way back, we'll supercharge probably a similar pattern on the way back home. So like we normally do on our road trips, we'll keep you guys posted with range updates, show you our charging status, where we park, and you know, a little bit on what we do in the city. So stay tuned and let's get started. Okay, so we're starting our day leaving Boston with 59% state of charge, which is 190 miles for us. And we're mapping to a supercharger about 45 minutes away in Charlton, Massachusetts. And it says we should get there with 34% state of charge. So we'll keep you guys updated. Okay, so we're almost at the supercharger and it looks like we're gonna get there with a little bit extra than what it said. It said we would get there with 34% and it looks like we'll arrive with 36%. And I'll, let, I'll show you guys when we're at the supercharger to double check, but we're literally just few minutes away. So I think we're doing great already. And it looks like we still have 119 miles of range, but we're, we should be able to charge really fast at this one. So I'll show you guys the charging speeds in a little bit. So the supercharging station is pretty full actually. We're right on the end and every other one is filled up. So a little bit busy, but it is a Saturday right before Thanksgiving, so. So this is a V3 supercharger, 250 kilowatts, and you can see it's speeding up pretty quickly. So this is one of our favorite types of superchargers, one where it's right off the highway, super convenient. There's plenty of stalls, but it can be busy on holiday weekends like this. So definitely plan ahead, but since it's a V3, it is super fast. And while we were there, we actually saw another Model Y and it had a bike rack on the back from the tow hitch. So really interesting to see this in person. So if you saw our tow hitch video, you know that you can add this as an option either at delivery or afterwards, and you can use it for an accessory like a bike rack like this or to tow a trailer. So super cool to see this in real life. Okay, so we are about to unplug. We've been here for about 25 minutes. Uh, we wanted to just get to 80%, so um, yeah, 25 minutes, not too bad. Here is a little calculation on what 50 miles in a gas car would cost us. So remember, we charge to fill up our car, but this 50 miles is what we actually used. So we're on the Merritt Parkway and we have 54% state of charge. We're heading to a supercharging station that's 27 miles away and 35 more minutes away. And we're doing pretty good in terms of range and everything. So, so far so good. Okay, so we're at a supercharger in Sanford, Connecticut, and we're at 43%. So we're gonna charge up a little bit before we get going again. This supercharger is a V2, which means it's a 150 kilowatt supercharger, but it's actually charging nice and fast. So over 500 miles an hour. So we'll probably stay here 15 or 20 minutes to try to fill up as much as we can. 
So we've been here about 20 minutes. We're about to unplug and head into New York City. And we should have plenty of charge to get there. We're still about an hour away. And then even we can make the return trip and get back here with 45%. So I think that's plenty. Here's another comparison to what we would have used in a gas car. And this is a great comparison because this is from kind of a full tank to an empty tank, you know, 80% to 80%. So it was 121 miles and at 425 a gallon, this is what it would cost in kind of a comparable gas car. We're starting to get pretty close. We're only 39 minutes away, 17 miles. And right now we have 73% state of charge. Overall, this trip was super easy and honestly a really nice drive. We got lucky with the weather. It was a little bit chilly, but nice and sunny. We got the last of the fall foliage. So driving from Boston to New York in a Tesla Model Y is definitely doable. You do just need to plan out your supercharging spots because it isn't that easy to charge while you're in New York City. So that's one big thing to keep in mind. And that's why we wanted the car to be, you know, filled up as much as we could. That way we could use sentry mode throughout the weekend and not have to worry about our state of charge but overall would definitely do this again honestly so easy using autopilot you know it's just a no-brainer in a tesla model y so if you've been considering doing a longer road trip you know from boston to new york or the other way around i think it's definitely doable All right, so this is where we parked. I'll leave the address in the description below, but we chose to park in a garage. That way we could have access to our car because at our hotel, it was just, you know, you'd park it and leave it. You wouldn't have in and out privileges. So we checked into the Equinox Hotel in Hudson Yards. Fabulous new hotel, super modern, really cool. And throughout the weekend, we had a nice time. We visited a few new things. We went to the Summit One Vanderbilt uh, Overlook. It was beautiful, really recommend it. And we just had a nice time in New York over the whole weekend. All right, so no one actually changed or no one moved since we parked here. So that's pretty nice. So let's time to leave let's see how much charge we have okay so when we first parked here we had about 70 percent as you can see we lost about 15 percent which makes sense it's about seven percent a day on sentry mode it says there's four events occurred we'll check those out now as you can see this is a recording for quite a bit of time this is the first one so when we first parked And that was a car driving by. Okay, so we are leaving New York. We have 54% state of charge right now. We're going to stop at a supercharger in Meriden, Connecticut. And we should get to that supercharger with 12%. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we'll be back in Boston by 1130-ish. So we'll keep you guys updated. We'll see if we want to stop anywhere sooner but plenty of superchargers very windy outside and our friend sentry mode ate up about 16 percent so we're in drive because we were visiting new york over a weekend before a holiday we decided to leave late at night rather than in the morning just to try to avoid as much traffic as we could and i'm so glad we did we hit almost no traffic even leaving the city so it was super easy and we planned it so we'd only have to supercharge once on our way so it made for a nice easy trip back to boston so we are about halfway to the supercharger and we are up to 36 percent state of charge and we're doing fine um originally it had said we'd be at 13 percent when we got to the supercharger now it's saying 15 percent so we're doing fine but 
overall doing okay even considering the cold temperatures it's in the 30s now so the car is doing great we're almost at the supercharger and we're about 13 percent and actually our ways over here says that we'll get home to boston at around 11:30. so let's see how much time the supercharging eats up Let's go, 20 minutes to continue the trip, but let's go, thousand, we got it, yeah. We're at 84% right now, normally we don't charge above 80%, but we want to have plenty to get home without having to stop again. So we have more than enough to get back to Boston and it's only 10, 11 right now. So we're only a little bit behind what Waze originally said. So for this leg of the journey, it was 140 miles and at 425 a gallon of gas at 29 MPG in a BMW X3, this would have cost about $19.31. But keep in mind, we're just trying to compare what we actually use. I know we're filling up more than we um, use because, you know, we want to plan ahead and have range in our car for future use. But, you know, this is just a little comparison as what it would cost in gas usage. So it's midnight and we're back home in Boston. We're almost um, at the garage and we have 40%. So we're doing great. I mean, that supercharging stop was really good. We got to charge at the 250 kilowatt uh, station. So that really helped us out. It was nice and fast and we got to fill up quite a bit. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed our road trip from Boston to New York City in our Tesla Model Y. Be sure to check out our other videos for lots more fun Tesla content.